Welcome. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to draw a cartoon character in Photoshop. I'm Dai the IT Guy, and I'm here to show you how. I've designed and sketched out this character. If you want to follow along, the sketch can be downloaded from this address. Because of time limits, I'm only going to deal with the head in this lesson. However, you will learn everything you need to complete the character if you wish. First job is to create a new layer. Click here below the layers panel. Now double click on the text to enable editing. I'm renaming the layer head outline. Now type B to activate the brush presets. I'm choosing a hard edge brush with a diameter of 30 pixels. Now with the brush setup, I can choose the pen tool. I can begin creating a pen path. I'm going to start here at the cheek. Click the left mouse button to create an anchor point. Hold the mouse button down and drag to create adjustment handles. Now choose a point at the top of the head. Left click and repeat the process. As you can see, if you move the handles around you can adjust the path. The handles edit only one side of the anchor point each. If you hold down the ALT key or command on a Mac, you can make fine adjustments to the path as I'm doing here. I'll just tidy this up before I move on. Now I'll set another anchor point here at the other cheek. Hold the left mouse button down and drag out the handles and adjust the path to approximate my sketch. There you go. OK, I'm happy with that. Now if I right click on the path, it brings up the path dialog panel. I want stroke path with the brush option, which is already there. Photoshop now paints a line along the specified path. This uses the foreground color and the 30 pixel width specified earlier. Now I'm going to apply a bucket fill to the path. Before I do this, I'll create a new layer for the color fill. Double click and change the name to color. Make sure it's the current layer. Now I'm going to switch the foreground and background colors around. Move up to the color swatch and select green. With that done, again, right click on your path. From the dialog panel, select fill path. For this, I want the foreground color. Click on okay. There you go. I'll just switch the colors back while I remember. There's a small problem here. The colour fill has covered half the line width. This is easily sorted by moving the layer down the stack. Just click, hold and drag here in the layers panel. There you go. I'll switch the colour layer off as it's in the way right now. Double check that head outline is still the current layer. Press the enter key to deselect the path. Now I'll draw the jaw outline. Again, I'll start here at the cheek. Left click and drag out the handles. Now move about a third of the way around. With practice you'll develop a feel for this. Click and drag out the handles. Adjust the path. That's OK. Now move around another third. Left click and drag out. Adjust the path. This needs a little more work. So I'll hold down the ALT key to enable single handle adjustments. Now I can gently bring the path into line. Done. Click here on the other cheek to finish the path. Drag out the handles and bring the path over the sketch outline. I'm happy with that. Now right click on the path to bring up the dialog panel. Choose stroke path. Brush is what I want. Now back to the layers panel. Turn colour back on and make it current. Now right click on the path. Select fill path. I want green which is the background colour. There you go. Now switch off the colour layer and press enter. Now I'll start on the eyes. Create a new layer. Rename it Eyes. Make sure it's current. For this I'm going to use a shape. 
Click and hold down the mouse button on the Shape tool. Choose Ellipse from the Shapes flyout. I want black as the foreground colour. Now if I click and drag from this point, I've created the basic eye shape. Just click here to fix it in place. Double click on it. From the colour palette I want yellow. Click here, then click to choose. OK. I'll just nudge it a little to the left. Use the arrow keys for this. Now if I hold the Alt key down and drag the shape here, it creates a copy of the ellipse shape. Double click on the copy. Choose black from the colour palette. Now select Edit. From the drop down menu, choose Transform Path. Then Scale. Hold the Shift key down and resize the ellipse using the handles. When you're happy with the resize, double click inside the handles to fix. Now just nudge it into place. With that done, hold down the Alt key and drag the shape here. Double click here for the colour palette. Choose white. OK. Again, select Edit. Transform Path. Scale. Hold down the Shift key and using the handles, scale to suit. It's now too small for me to click inside the handles. So if I try to change tools, Photoshop prompts me to complete the operation. Now I can nudge the new ellipse into position. The eye needs an outline. To do this, I'll make the eyes layer current. Now choose the layer tool. Layer style, choose stroke. Change size to 10 and position to outside. I'll just move this pane out of the way so I can see what's happening. OK. To make a copy of the eye, I need to select these layers. Hold the control key down, then select. When the layers are selected, right click on any one of the selections. Now choose Link Layers from the menu. With the Move tool still selected, hold down the Alt key, click on the eye and drag to Copy. Now I can just nudge it into position. Now I can begin adding features to the face. Create a new layer. Rename it Features. OK. I'll start with drawing the antennae. Choose the brush presets, select brush, select shape dynamics, set control to fade, type the distance you want the line to fade over. For the antennae it's going to be far more than 25 pixels. I'll try 175. OK. Again, choose the pen tool. I'll start here at the base. I'll just put in an anchor point, then move on. Put a second anchor point here at the tip. Adjust the path to suit. That'll do it. Right click on the path. Choose Stroke Path. Brush. You can now see how the fade control works. OK, let's repeat the process for the second antenna. Place an anchor point here at the base, and a second one here at the tip. Adjust the path. When you're happy, right click on it. Select Stroke Path. Brush. OK and press Enter. Now for the eyebrows. These are about a third of the length of the antennae. Open the Brush dialog. Choose Brush. I'll change the stroke length to 50 pixels. OK. Select the Pen tool. Remember, when using the Fade control, the thickest part of the line is at the beginning. Place the first anchor point here, and the second here. Adjust the path. Right click on it. Stroke path. Brush. Hmm, that's come out a little short. 
Control Z to undo. Open the brush control. Select brush. I'll change the fade length to 60 pixels. OK. Right click on the path. Stroke path. Brush. I'm happy with that. Press enter. Now to create the other eyebrow. First anchor point here. Plus one at the other end of the brow. Adjust the path. That's it. Right click on the path. Stroke path. Brush. Press enter. OK, that's the eyebrows done. Now, the final job for this class. I'll use the same brush to draw the mouth. I need to change the fade length. I'll go with 125 pixels. Select the pen tool. The first anchor point should go here. And the second here. Adjust the path. Right click on it. Stroke path. Brush. Not long enough. Control plus Z to undo. Brush controls. I'll increase the fade length to 150 pixels. Now, repeat the pen process. Job done. Select the zoom tool. Zoom in on the left side of the mouth. Select the pen tool again. Just create a short path from here to here. Apply a brush as before. Finished. Now I'll switch color back on. Well that's it for this class. Hope you found it useful. If you did, why not subscribe? There are a lot more classes to come. So until the next time, thanks for watching.